Hi, I'm Chris Clark, Artistic Director of Cinema St. Louis, presenters of the 20th annual Whitaker St. Louis Filmmaker Showcase, one of our favorite events of the year. Um, a relatively new participant in the event, uh, had a film in the last couple of years, uh, Tanner Craft, um, with his uh, <coughs> uh, film Breakdown Overload. Um, you know, really a beautiful artistic piece. Um, I know it's also kind of personal to you. I mean, you're really kind of, you know, you film what you know, um, right. and it's, um, you know, I, I, I really admired you know, the aesthetic that you did. Um, you know, where did you get, you know, inspiration and, and visuals from this? So I, um, as far as the inspiration of visuals, I was really, I just, I, uh, I had a bunch of footage that I wasn't doing anything with because it was from a shoot that wound up having to get canceled. That's a whole like 30 minute story. So I won't get into it too much, but I had to cancel a shoot. So I had a bunch of footage that I couldn't use for anything else. So I, I was desperately trying to find something to, I didn't want the footage to go to waste because we spent the whole day shooting and I didn't want it to go to waste. So I, I started messing around with it. And then I just by chance started to mess around with the transparency over it in Premiere. And then these images started to like, like emerge that were so striking and fascinating. And I was like, there we go. This is what I'll do with it. I'm going to mess around with these images and I'm going to make something really interesting here. And then I'm going to pull some audio from this place, pull some audio from that place. And it just kind of like, it almost felt like I was putting together a puzzle. I already had all the pieces. It was just putting it together. You know, the, the layering and the repetition of the audio, you know, further enhances. And it's not real long. It's just a little over two, two and a half minutes or so. But, you know, you really made a profound um, <clears throat> little movement. And, you know, I could, you know, you know, tell the story you were telling, even though, you know, you had to really kind of concentrate because uh, things were kind of going back and forth. But, um, you know, really made a, a, a nice element there. How long did it take you to put together with all this? There was a lot of crafting, you know, you had, you had the footage, but that was, it was a lot of work after that, I'm sure. Get, getting the transparency right to like to make it look the way I wanted to look was the most time consuming part because it was such a bunch of, you know, it was like slight adjustments and then comparing the adjustments. I, I made a bunch of exports just so I could like compare it side by side. Um, getting the exact, getting the image to look exactly the way I want, I'd say it took me since I was doing it all by myself in Premiere, it took me like a couple weeks to get it just the way I wanted. Um, so it was real time consuming because, of course, I wasn't spending all day, all those days, but it was a couple hours each day just getting it right and then getting the colors right and then getting the audio right. It was, um, you know, there's like <laughs> eight files on my computer of like eight different versions of this. And, you know, the one I submitted is obviously the one I like the most, but, you know. Yeah, we know, but, you know, you're also you're also kind of looking at yourself um, all the time too. Yeah. Um, so in, in over and over and over again, and just this short snippet, um, you know, so it's got to, you know, that takes patience and discipline to be able to do that, you know, still, you know, fine tuning and crafting, you know, you're going to watch it a gazillion times more um, in the course of those couple hours, even, and just adjusting a little bit takes a lot, um, you know, as an interesting color palette, you know, it kind of really got, you know, a great, uh, you know, trippy vibe from it. Uh, I think it really worked as an experimental piece. And, uh, you know, um, and so as we were uh, chatting before, it's kind of getting uh, <clears throat> our footing before we started this, I mentioned that, oh, poor Tanner. Last year, <laughs> uh, as soon as we announced the schedule, um, one of your very first films, and you were very excited that we included it in the showcase last year, but uh, I think your mom commented before you had said, oh, no, that's the day <laughs> We were going away on vacation. And we were on vacation. We were on vacation, and it was too late to change it. And I knew it was important to you, and I felt really bad. But, you know, you were a good sport about it, and it was what it was. But, you know, it would have been nice to be there at the premiere of your film. Um, and then I thought about this as soon as, I, you know, I was making the schedule together. I looked at it like, oh, no. <laughs> because we already knew at that point it was going to be a virtual event. I'm like, oh, poor Tanner. Um, he's going to be upset. But, no, you're a good sport about it, you know. Um, and – you're also a good sport because you said, you know, and you don't want to talk about the whole story. I'm sure that could be another great conversation, but you used what you had and you dealt with it. Um, I've had that conversation with a couple other filmmakers who were thwarted in different ways. You know, a lot of these things were made before March. So a lot of it happened, but right. a lot of things kind of came together after the fact and you had to be fast on your feet to, to be able to tell a story that, stood out and, you know, was still creative and unique and had a different voice and a vision. And uh, I like yours, you know, I liked your film 
last year and I like, um, you know, the, your posts and things you do, you're, you're a lively fellow. Um, and, uh, you know, welcome to the showcase, you know, by God, we will get you in a theater to show <laughs> one of your films next, well, hopefully next, time next year. one of these days. Um, I mean it. So, um, I hope everyone appreciates and reacts to the film as much as I did. And I hope you have a great virtual experience at least. And, you know, keep making stuff. I want to see more. Absolutely. I, I plan on it. I'll, I'll be there next year. And by God, as long as there's not another pandemic, I'll be in the theater. Okay. Fair enough. We'll have to leave it at that. Okay. Thanks, Tanner. <laughs> have a great afternoon. Thanks for spending part of your time with me. No problem. All right. You hey, too. Bye-bye.